Hello, this is Jeff Falker with End Up Studies. Today we're looking at 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 18. Now the first thing we notice is that verse 18 belongs with these two other passages, verses 16 and 17, and these are uh, especially uh, appropriate verses if you're into memorizing scripture and you're a little challenged and you want to get going and be encouraged so you would start with verse 16 where it says rejoice always then you would go to verse 17 pray continually and now you're have two verses under your belt and then the third verse verse 18 give thanks in all circumstances for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus now, the first thing that we need to understand before we get into even the content of 1 Thessalonians 5.18 is that the Apostle Paul, in writing to the church at Thessalonica, is talking about, in this context, the will of God. Now, as soon as we use the phrase, the will of God, we need to understand that Scripture uses it in two different ways. There is the sovereign will, that is, God's predestined plan, now that always happens. That even includes evil in the way we don't understand, where he can't be blamed for evil, but it is a part of his plan. That's the sovereign will, and that always happens. Uh, and if Ephesians 1.11, he works all things after the counsel of his will. That would be the sovereign will, sometimes called the secret will. But here in 1 Thessalonians 5.18, he's talking about the what we will call the moral will or the revealed will. And that is how God wants us to live. And that's scripture. Scripture in context tells us how this the Lord of heaven and earth wants us to live before him. And one of the things he wants us to do is to give thanks in all circumstances. So we need to understand, first of all, that when we are told to give thanks, we are to give thanks to him. That is, in a way that we don't understand fully, he is choreographing our lives. So Romans 8, 28, all things work together for good to those who love God, who are called according to his purpose. That, un, that particular passage, that is uh, sort of in the backdrop of 1 Thessalonians 5, 18. Now, practically speaking, this is the most practical passage. For this tells us that everything in a way, if we're a believer in Jesus Christ, everything is really for our good and therefore we are called to give thanks for everything so if this is helpful you may want to check out uh, Jeff's thoughts on youtube.com there on on Jeff's thoughts and then you can subscribe if you would like so thank you very much bye bye